Hello everyone, my mate Strania here, welcome you back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon, episode 32. In our last episode, we, well, took some more story bits, went to Neek, got to Stardust, and now we're on our way back into this place to go to the Wingley Forest. Man, hopefully, from now on though, we should be able to make start making decent progress though. I, I really hope so, because blah is what I say to that. Alright, so I think we can go over here now, I think, maybe? Something. Is this like. Oh, hey, there is a cutscene here. Ooh. A dead end. Here we are at the entrance of the Forest of the Winglies. <sighs> Maybe I'll get kicked out again. Where is the entrance? I don't see anything. There's a magical boundary here. Of course you're not going to see anything. Winglies have locked themselves in the forest since the Dragon Campaign. How come they don't live with the humans? You know about the Dragon Campaign. It is the war that humans, who obtained the power of the dragons, er, 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 started in order to liberate themselves from the control of Winglies. Some Winglies are still angry about that. Besides, Winglies have a power that humans don't have. The ancestor told me that the power draws a line between humans and us. Maru, are you? Yep, I'm a Wingly. Nailed it. <laughs> are you surprised? Not really. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us? Yeah, 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 you act as if you known us all along, freaking Miranda. What the hell? You just joined us. You don't even... Would you have believed me? Would you consider me as a friend if I told you guys? That doesn't matter. Maru is Maru, right? Good on you, Dart. Now, let's go see the Wingleys. Now we are dealing with serious stuff. Yeah, we're dealing with grown-up stuff. As if dragons weren't serious enough, right? <laughs> just dragons are everyday things. Like, whatever. <laughs> Oh man, they're gonna be enough for a rude awakening here. I wonder what happens to us if the dragon, divine dragon came to this forest. We would fight it with our magic, but probably we would fail giving our current level of power. But the ancestor said that we won't become extinct if we cooperate with other species. Other species? Are you talking about humans? That's right. But I wonder if everyone in the forest can understand that, including me. What? The seal! Maru! The humans? Maru bought humans here! I'm gonna let the ancestor know! Oh god. Don't shoot! They are my friends! We are not here to fight, we are here to borrow the Dragon Block Staff! Dragon Block Staff? Hey Maru, how dare you to speak her? How dare you speak about our secrets to them? Uh, but the Divine Draga Dragon is awake! But, but what can humans do if they cannot even use magic? Should we break through? Hell no! We have to take some action or everything may be destroyed. That includes the forest of the Winglies and human cities. Everyone, hold on. The ancestor says he will meet with the humans. You, please don't agitate the people in the forest. We are not used to seeing humans. But watch out for, Bar for the Bardell brothers. What do you mean? Guess we'll find out. Let's go, Dart. The ancestor Blano is what is at the back of the forest. All right, guys. Be right back. One moment. I have to take care of something in real life, right quick. I will be right back momentarily. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I am back. Now let's uh, go on into the forest. I just got to remember to edit out that bit there. Okay. Well, let's just go on and... Oh, what? Oh, I guess I gotta talk to the... It is an order of the Ancestor. I'll carry you to the back. Sure. Do it I. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> it's a matter of life or death. That's why you guys are assisting me. Okay, we should have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Father, mother, I'm home! Maru, do you realize what you are doing? So, they are the humans who deluded you, who have deluded you. Hey, don't talk bad about my friends! Eru, I'm still me. I want to protect everybody in the forest in my own ways. With Dart and friends. <laughs> the ancestor believed in Meru and is allowing the humans to pass through here. You have to believe in Meru, too. Indeed, dude. 
humans over there. The dragon is supposed to be your ally. Winglies and humans are enemies. Why are you trying to defeat the dragon with us? The dragon campaign has been over for more than 10,000 years. Besides, there is no reason for our two species to fight each other, is there? Honey, our ideas may be too old. Please, take care of Maru. You don't need to say such a thing. I'm the one taking care of them. Yeah, right. Oh, Maru is taking care of... Yep! Who? Darting everybody! What? I assume there's no time for this. He's right, Maru. Let's go to the Ancestor. Okay, you are right. Your father talked harsh talks harshly to you, but actually he is happy to see your face. Rah. Besides, he likes starting friends. Don't be yapping about silly things and just go see the Ancestor. Okay, I will. <laughs> God. Oh, hey, come on! Ain't got all day. Your mother is right. Seeing you makes me really relieved. You are living your own way. Of course! I am your only daughter, father. I think a lot. Of course you do, and you talk a lot, too. Bye now! Bye-bye! Whoa. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Let's take this teleporter. Okay. Let's see. Well, we got a shop area here. Buy some rare stuff. I'll buy something. Healing fog, blah, 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 blah. Alright, you must be the weapon shop. Buy something. <laughs> Ooh, a warhammer. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, spiritual ring is awesome for magical defense. Whoa! Anyway, Warhammer. Okay. Spirit Cloak actually would be pretty good for someone like, uh... Kongol, I think. Let me show you some cool stuff! Yoink. What is this? It's the Archangel! It's the guardian god of the Gwinglies, the ancestor told me. You say, told me, but don't you worship it too, Maru? I don't know. I've never been protected. Maybe. I just don't know, though. Okay, end of tour. Sure. Uh... It's the Archangel. No, duh. Alright, fine. I didn't want to look at it much anyway. <laughs> okay, well, let's just take this. Maru, I knew it. You are coming back to me. What? You are humans! So, you are the friends of Maru? That's right. <laughs> this is Garuha, a friend of mine. You say I'm just your friend? Uh, we grew up together? You are my fiancé! What? I didn't know you had a fiancé, Maru. Uh, hmm, there was more to you than I thought, Maru. Wow, whoa, what are you guys talking about? It's true, isn't it? What, what? I, I thought she was still a kid. I thought she was still a kid. Hmm, it must be true that Wingleys have a long life and they are not as young as they look. What are you analyzing me for? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of relationship do you think I have with... Oh, wait, wait. <clears throat> what kind of relationship do you, do you have with Maru? A uh, relationship? We're just friends. At first, she insisted on following us. Is that so? We have no time to talk about that. Garuha, why are you cooping yourself up in here? There are awful things going on outside. As the ancestor told us, the divine dragon has come back to life, hasn't it? Why aren't you defending the forest? The other day, I let you uh, I let you in the forest, Maru. I'm on probation now. Of course I would defend the port forest if I could. Whatever. We are going to see the ancestor. You just stay here and be all gloomy like. Maru, you have changed. You can be changed too if you go outside, Garuha. I, there is a commandment for us winglies. We cannot do what you want us to do, Maru. 
Yeah, you can. What? <laughs> you totally can, bro. Hey, Stardust. Blink. 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 And we want to use... Wait, 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 wait. Did I use the right one? Yeah, I did. And there should be a Stardust. Um... Here? Yeah, wait. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go back that way. <laughs> I'm a fool. No, oh, what? Eh, guess I gotta do deal with these guys. Bardell, are you bothering us again? The divine dragon can be taken care of by us without asking humans for help. Besides, we have no business talking to a betrayer who ran off to humans. What happened to you? The Bardell I knew was much kinder and wasn't like that. My baby sister was killed by a human. Oh no! baby sister was influenced by you, Maru, and left the forest, believing that the outside world was wonderful. We don't need human's help. Do you have something else to say? Get out. There might be more people killed now. Good for you. It's a good chance to learn your helpless, how helpless you humans are. But we winglings won't die. Our magic power surpasses the dragons. You are strong, huh? Don't make me laugh. I wonder if you noticed you are declining because you cling to the glory of the past. What are you talking about? You can barely fly, and that's about it, right? Maybe you won't think that way after this! <laughs> what? No way! Is this the legendary Dragoon? Please. <clears throat> Please, let us take care of the Divine Dragon. Go, go, Power Dragoons! I'll come back to take care of your baby sister's matter after my journey has ended, so please trust us for now. The ones who flaunt their power disappear when the truly powerful appear. I'm going ahead. If we cannot even have revenge for our baby sister anymore, the divine dragon cannot be. I feel weak in my knees. I cannot move. Is this real? Oh! You wimp! Rather! How dare you humans! Just because you are afraid of our magic power, you are sending the destroyers of old, dragoons, at us. Silly humans, I'll pass sentence for the sin of killing my sister. I'll annihilate them now. Uh, you can try, bro. But it ain't gonna work. Okay, can I go back in there, please? Because I didn't want to exit to begin with. I wanted to check right here. Is it, where is it? Color to the... Uh, nice. There it is. Ha ha. And that's it for the Wingly Forest Stardust. Soul three call for the loss. Hey. Ooh. Seems like that healed us. Awesome. I heard from the ancestor. You want me to carry you to the upper level? Uh, yes, please. Because there's no other way I can get up there. Whee! Although I like how they can carry all seven of us up there with just one wingly. Including Kongles. Like, what? <laughs> oh, man. How ridiculous. There's nobody here. Where is the ancestor? <laughs> here I am. Body is being healed again. Is this the magical healing? I guess there's a white mage nearby. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> I wonder if it's an apology for the discourtesy. Ancestor, sorry we were late. Hi. Welcome, humans and giganto. I am Blano, the ancestor of the forest. 
I am first sacred sister of Mio's Tissot, Miranda. Please forgive our sudden visit. I would like to listen to your story. The Divine Dragon is... I know. The Divine Dragon came back to life in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon, and there are dragoons that have come to us. It seems that the times won't leave us alone. A messenger from the Crystal Palace, and the people who were fated to come here. Our opponent is so enormous, we have to combine each of our strengths, or none of us will survive. Neither the Crystal Palace nor a forest. You mean... Let us put the power of the Dragoons and our wisdom together. You will let us borrow your Dragon Block Staff? We don't have the Dragon Buster now, so the Dragon Block Staff is our last resort. No longer have the power to master that, however. If you, who rule the Dragons, can use it, we can fight against the Dragons. I appreciate your kindness. However, we cannot, par <clears throat> we cannot participate in the battle. We are all that remains. We cannot become extinct. I'm going! I know. You are a dragoon, too, Maru. She's both wingly and dragoon. Go inside. I will show you the way to the dragon block staff. I'll meet you there, Maru. <laughs> Why did she... Yeah, she's even going to take the teleporter thing. You are attracted to those humans. Yep. They're a really cool ancestor. I want to go on the journey with them. And I want to see my mother and father anytime I want. Are you telling me to throw our commandment away? Hell yeah! It's a stupid commandment anyway. It's not the right time yet. Sure it is. But eventually, in the near future, the time will come when us and humans live together. Go with them. As a wingly, go see humans. Or better yet, the entire world. Your experience will lead us. Okay, I hear ya. I'll meet you there. Now I have to wait for the freaking elevator to go up again. If Maru is the one leading us to the outer world, where are those humans leading the world to? Good question. <laughs> it must be the flow of time. Only the fates can tell. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video here. In the next episode, we will uh, go after the Dragon Block Staff. Until then, everyone, this has been White Mage Serenia saying thanks again for the support and thanks for stopping by, guys. And uh, have a nice day. Hopefully you guys have been ha doing well. And um, always remember to smile, guys. This has been White Mage Serenia signing off saying thanks again and have a nice day. See you again soon. Demons dance.